I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at Stock Market Mentor on Saturday, August 4th, and in this video, I want to just take a quick look at Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. They announced earnings on the 1st, uh, which was, let's zoom in, that was this day after the market, meaning this day was the post-earnings trade. Boom. Big move higher, right? So what happened then on Friday? So they announced earnings on Wednesday. Stock trades up on Thursday. And now the stock is pulled back. So there was no follow through. Now what do we see? Well, now we see the 50 day moving average remaining very relevant. Um, so here's, you know, I'll just say it. I think this is a stock that you can still short. Um, and I don't think I'm the only guy that thinks that. But um, here's what you want to do. If you are interested in shorting this stock, you have to be concerned with this, with a follow through from this earnings move. I don't think that's going to happen, but I can't um, say that with too much confidence simply because I don't want to jinx the trade. Um, as soon as you say there's no way this stock's going to move higher, the stock is going to say, well, we'll just see about that, won't we? Um, so I don't want to say that, but I will say this. You look at Thursday's intraday high. That's your line in the sand. That's the one where you say, okay, if the bulls push Green Mountain Coffee Roasters above Thursday's intraday high, then I am wrong to be short this stock. So I want to get out of this thing right away and you're going to cover. That means that if you shorted, say, on Friday's close, this is the amount that you're, um, that you're uh, risking. And on a percentage basis, it's not an insignificant amount. It's not an insignificant amount at all. So what do you do? You start with a small position. You start with a smaller short position than you normally would. And then as the stock starts rewarding you, and it can only it can be in five minutes or five days, um, then you can start adding to that position. On the other hand, if the stock rallies up here, you're kind of glad you only have a small position because then you're watching this like a hawk. And a lot of times what we'll see is this kind of action and then we get the move down so that's how I would suggest trading Green Mountain just keep your um, buy stop right up above Thursday's intraday high and I think you're gonna be fine okay members I got a couple videos for you in the weekend update um, so get over there now